A Stockton viewer says that she came home to find her fence torn down and then a new one was put up. And when she was surprised with the bill, it was time to call Curtis. Yeah, and not only did she get the bill, she says the contractor threatened to take her to court if she did not pay. Can he do that? Check out the nice new fence in the backside of Tammy Singh's yard. I don't feel that I should have to pay him. The thing is, she never asked for it. Yet the contractor who built the fence said she has to pay for part of it. I was angry and upset and I felt like he was taking advantage of me. It all started when Tammy found a business card from Smalley Development on her door. It said, please call. We are remodeling house next door, which was vacant. And I thought, oh, that's strange because they had never said anything to me and they had been here for probably two weeks before that. She says she called twice and left messages. The next day at work, she got a strange call from her mom. She goes, when you went to work today, did you have a fence? And I said, well, yeah. She goes, well, you don't have a fence now. I said, what are you talking about? Her old fence, seen here, torn down. That ivy that used to cover it, sheared off. Fuming, she called the number on the card again. I said, I'd like to know why you stole my fence. The contractor, Don Smalley, who's also a chiropractor, said the fence was a wreck. He was going to replace it, and she had to chip in. He goes, well, according to the good neighbor law, um, you're required to pay me for half of the fence. What good neighbor law? Tammy called the city of Stockton and was told there is no such law. The next thing she knew, the new fence was put up, and Don Smalley came knocking on her door. He said that he didn't care if I paid $5 a month until it was paid off but I would pay him. Then she says he handed her this invoice, asking for $270 for materials, or he'd take her to small claims court for half the total cost of the fence, $720. She had no expectation of any work being done. Venus Stromberg with the Contractor State License Board says if Tammy never agreed to the work, she's off the hook. She does not have any liability because she did not sign a contract. We called Don Smalley. He told us he thought his workers asked Tammy about replacing the fence, and he assumed there was a good neighbor law. He claims he told Tammy if no good neighbor law exists, then she got a free fence. Hopefully, it will send a message to everyone else that's out there and contractors out there that not to take advantage of people. So Tammy doesn't have to pay for that fence. She says her old fence was in just fine shape. We found out this guy helps flip homes for investors, and that's what they were doing here. If you ever have to replace a fence, get an agreement with your neighbors in writing who pays what so there are no questions later. And if you have a consumer problem you can't resolve, maybe we can. Call the hotline Monday through Friday, or you could always go to our website, cbssacramento.com, and click on Contact Curtis.